What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John 34 here bringing us more Battlefield hunting for PS4 today. I'll be showing you guys a gameplay where I survived the longest. In this gameplay I managed to go 43 kills and 6 deaths. One of my highest KD's gameplays. So um, another thing that you need to guys need to know about this gameplay is that um, I managed to use two different weapons in the whole gameplay and also do great with both of them. The second weapon that I used, I had zero attachments on it. I did not have any muzzle brakes. I did not have any any grips. So um, it was all just with the scope. And seeing how good it is with no attachments, I can already have a feeling that uh, maybe that's my future gun. I'll talk about it later when it comes out in the, in the video because right now, the first half of the gameplay, I'll be using the AK 74U. Now, me and the AK 74U go be way back. Back into Call of Duty Black Ops 1, and I know, I know, Battlefield and Call of Duty are not the same thing when it comes down to weapons. But uh, the weapon itself, you know, the AK 74U, um, back in Black Ops 1, it took me to the top 10 in both the Team Deathmatch and Domination in the leaderboards for a whole week and a half. You know, I used to be very good back then. I used to rack up like 70 kills per gameplay back to back like five times in a row, and that's how I ended up in the top. So, and it was all with the AK 74U, by the way. So that's why I was like so excited to buy this game and use the AK 74U, and here I am using it. You know, I'm happy about it. The only problem that I have with this weapon is its damage. The damage it does suck. It really doesn't do like great amount of damage. It, like it takes you like sometimes like almost to the half of the mag to take out someone. That that is the thing that really sucks about this gun. It could have been better, but damn, it's super weak. This gun needs to be buffed in the next update or something. Cause I'm, I feel bad for this gun. It, it, it has potential, but uh, it doesn't have the damage. It really doesn't. It really upsets me because you know, using this gun just brings me a lot of memories back in Black Ops One and. For it just not to be strong enough, god damn it, I'm pissed off. <laughs> just kidding, guys. But anyways, yeah, I just wish this gun was super uh, was super stronger than than what it is right now. The only good thing about this weapon it has that that it has um is the accuracy and the uh, recoil. You know, the accuracy is just tremendous. The range is tremendous. Uh, the 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 recoil is just doesn't shake a lot. So you have enough accuracy, but not the damage. If it had the damage, this gun would have been the OP gun, but it doesn't. Kind of sucks for the AK Cena for you. It could have a lot. It could have been the best gun out there in the game. So, anyways, um, now moving on to the second gun, which is the currently one that you see right now on your screen. This weapon is called the AKM. Still located in the same division, the same uh, you know assault rifle division. And um, the thing is, it is, it is kind of similar to the AK Cena for you, except this one actually looks like an actual AK, unless it's another version of the AK. Because I'm pretty sure there's like around seven versions of the AK. The AKM, AK 74U, the AK 47, AK, um, AKS, I believe that's the other one. No, that's a single shot. Well, anyways, you know, you get my point. So, this other version of the AK, which is called the AKM, um, I was using this weapon with no attachments. Only the scope, that's it. That's my only guilty thing. But the rest of the things, like the foregrip, um, what else, the uh, muzzle brakes or whatever, you know, the muzzle. There's nothing on it. There's no barrel, no no uh, foregrip attachment, nothing. So seeing how good I am with no attachments on the weapon, I can't wait to, to see what it can do with attachments. For sure it's going to be accurate as hell and no PSL. So for the next few days guys, I'll be testing out the AKM, see if I can come up with the best class setup and um, I'll show it to you guys to see if it's actually good for you. And um, I'm pretty sure it will because right now I'm getting the kills back to back like crazy. I was like, what the hell? I haven't even used this gun a lot. And, you know, all I have unlocked is the scope and I'm doing good with it. So I was surprised. I was really surprised that I was using this weapon pretty good. So um, I'll be using it for the next gameplay to see if, what it can do and what else can it offer me. And, you know, how many, how much does it take to take out someone? You know, all the stats that I always give you guys, I'll find out pretty soon. So, because in this gameplay, all I can say is it is strong enough to take out someone from a good distance. And it does have the range, it does have a little bit of the recoil though. The recoil does drop a little bit compared to the AK-74U. Uh, it does shoot a little bit faster than the AK-74U, by the way. So, Anyways, I'll bring you guys more information. If I get a good gameplay with the AKM, I'll show it here so you guys can see more information about it. And um, yeah, I'll do a best class setup pretty soon. So that is it. Leave a like to support this kind of series. If you guys want to see more Battlefield Hardline, if you guys got any comments or any questions or concerns, leave it in the comment section. I'll read them later. See you guys later, and subscribe for more Battlefield Hardline.